Hey guys, Casey and Renee here with Bargain Hunter Thrift Store. Or I guess now we're Bargain Hunter Thrift. <laughs> no, it's still Bargain Hunter Thrift Store. We just sell all our stuff online now. But a lot of people asking, are we doing a retail location or like in the first video, the warehouse video, people were like, when can we come? This is not open to the public, guys. So our eBay links are below. That's where we're selling on. Um, this is another update video because a lot of you guys said, hey, we want to see process. We want to see how you think. We want to see what you're doing. So we're going to share with you guys. Now, keep in mind, it's moving a little bit slowly, but I'm filming like four or five days a week. Casey's filming. Tatiana's filming. And it's been um, hot out there. Yeah, so filming right now is our main job. Plus, the store's closed down, so we're relaxing a little bit more. Enjoying but, summer. Yeah, it's hot. and But... We are working on this warehouse. It's just not our main priority. It's not our source of income, so we don't have to have it ready tomorrow. But um, yeah, we'll do a quick walkthrough. We'll show you some of the things that we've done so far. The warehouse is pretty packed already. Unbelievably packed. And we still have way more to bring over. <coughs> it's good. It's all money, right? Oh, yeah. So we just brought this in. Again, this is still going to be the hangout room. We just dropped up some items. We kept that showcase from the store. And then over here, you see all these uh, coolers. They're wine coolers. We bought them at Dave Hester's auction. Yeah, you go to our past videos. So we paid like 300 bucks a piece for these. We'll probably advertise these for a thousand a piece. Uh, hit a bathroom. So if you have a drinking problem, we've got you covered. <laughs> so we're just showing you how the warehouse process progresses. Why are you showing the bathroom? I know, because we show everything. It's like, you know, we're... Um, show the cleaning product. Yeah, so we put a couple of racks in there. Those boxes, they still have to clean out. And then this will be all cleaning product supplies. This is our guest bathroom. We don't really use this. We don't really have guests either. Um, show the kitchen really quick. We did put up a table. The one from the store. We just had some lunch. Casey made salmon with rice. That's the nice thing about having like a nice little kitchen in a warehouse. You can have lunch, eat a little bit healthier. As you guys say all the time, I'm fat, I'm gonna die, I need to lose weight. Oh no. So it's either this or a burger. <clears throat> no, this is. This is better, right? This is better. This will make you work faster and harder. Who we'll put up the cold drink sign? Oh, you didn't see that before? Here. <laughs> we got this from Bargain Hunters. <sighs> oh. oh, you got scared? God. Who's here? Zach. Oh, Zachary. Zachary. Hey, Lobster. Yeah. Remember, guys, the trash talker the Dave Hester supporter is becoming like my adopted son now. He just shows up like we accidentally gave him the actress one time. He just sits outside. Well, I mean, I'm in here now, so... <laughs> He came in time to eat, right? Yeah, that's why I came. I heard you were having that good food. So. Stop it, Renee. <laughs> uh, Are you hungry? Um, not really. We're gonna film some. Oh, oh, he doesn't like fish. You don't like salmon? No, he doesn't like seafood. You showing the fridge? What's my crib? <laughs> well, we have vegetable and rice. It's my little face Obviously, mask down there. It's you. so hot. I put that on my face. All right, come on, let's go on. <laughs> let's show the office where we started doing some work. So remember, some of these desks we moved around. We're just installing all these. These are two brand new Dell computers for Casey, Tatiana, and then whoever's working on the third uh, desk. I think it shows our address label right here. It's just our. Oh, that's just, our, that's, just our, that's just our PO address. You can oh, okay. Just making sure. Yeah, no, good, good, good security. Uh, we put this desk over here from the other room, so this will be Tatiana's. Then, um,. Over here, it's going to be Casey. So right now, we just, so we actually, that's the project we're working on right now. So you see, it's a little bit messy. We put a few things in here. That's because Renee was working on my desk. That's why it's messy. Yeah, right. Yeah, because Renee, it works on pink Hello Kitty uh, things. <laughs> that's what Renee does. Yeah, we're not judging if you're into that. Yeah. So uh, I just hooked up the Swan security system last night. Just a quick hookup with one camera. Today or tomorrow, depending um, on the time, we're going to probably hook up eight to six. We have 16 cameras. I don't know if we need all 16. I'll probably have them in the hallways, outdoors. We'll put some outdoor cameras. Put up a wireless router. Had this desk added Casey's desk over here. Yeah, it's a little bit chill. Show that Playmobil. That's going to be on eBay soon. I love it. When I was a kid. More stuff up here. Yeah. Just that stuff that's all will get listed soon. You know, when I say soon, within the we're, like, we're probably going to start getting pretty strong in the third quarter or the fourth. Or no, we are in the third quarter, so the fourth quarter. Third, but like I said, you know, it's uh, we're also in a situation where we make we make really good money. So it just goes more to taxes right now. So we can wait. Um, we took in a lot of money in different deals this year. Um, and this right here, so people ask us all the time, so this computer, I just bought this computer, we're putting all brand new computers in, i7s, so 
32 megabytes, graphic cards, all that good stuff. Casing Titan, I got a brand new one coming. Uh, these monitors we just bought, so we got six of these, 32 inch, 4K monitors. It's probably a little bit overkill on the 4K, but you know, this should be good the next 10 years, technically, next five years at least. And I tell you guys all the time, people ask me questions, should I invest in this, should I buy this? The most important thing is when you when you want to make money and you you want to do good in your business and the biggest mistake I see people make, they'll have money to buy beer, they have money to buy the cigarettes, they'll have money to put money in the slot machine when I grew up in Vegas, so I see that a lot. But they never, they, always, they don't buy themselves good equipment. Buy yourselves good equipment because it makes the job easier. And then people wanted to know how we list. So we have a two, dual monitor setup. I'm not sure yet if I like this setup. I might have to put a little bit over, but we can adjust them. I actually might even install those arms, these monitors after the VESA hookups, <coughs> where then they can just float in there. I don't know, I might do that too. I might like that better if it's in the air and I look up a little bit. Um, but here's 6-bit. So that's the software we use for listing. So on one screen, we'll have 6-bit. And then over here, we can have, you know, Google, eBay, whatever we need to do so we, they can research and if they copy and paste stuff then they just can copy and paste and put it over and get all that stuff set up uh, we'll be running this software so i just installed the software but i haven't customized it yet so the one at our home office is customized and on our old computers but this actually so this new setup um, and i gotta get this working it's probably will take me a day uh, we have service that we, we rent online for like 100 bucks a month, 125 bucks a month. So it's gonna be running on an SQL database, if you know what that's it, what that is. <clears throat> We're going to have service online and every person that lists for us will have their own subfolders. And they can do listings, just take their pictures, do the listings. And then I, I can access everything on my computer, on my laptop, uh, even at home, anywhere. And then I just approve listings and stuff like this. So anybody can work from anywhere. Technically, even our workers or whoever does work, they can take 20 pictures here, load them up with the listings already. And when they get home at night or if they if they want to come in later, they can just work on the listings from home if they wanted to. So, but I, I, I believe in working in the office as a team. So everybody's on the same page. But and I could do the same thing and still work later. Um, up there, you'll see uh, probably putting our old uh, Sony XBR, which is actually a really good monitor. But we'll probably putting like a 55-inch screen up there. And that will be on a swivel arm, which we already bought. And then this will also be hooked up to this computer. And uh, it'll be able to move around and stuff like this. And we'll train everybody. So as this software will be up there, and I'll walk everybody through the listing steps that we do. Most of it is pre-filled, so it's not very hard. But we'll have a monitor if I ever want to show something with somebody. Or if we look at a listing, then I can pull it up here and anybody here can see it. So, plus we'll have Netflix and ESPN because next year's World Cup and we got to be prepared for that. Because Germany did really bad again in the Euro Cup, but love has gone. We have new adventures coming. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so, let's go Let's go upstairs. Let me show you what Casey and Tatiana and actually Sack helped too with what they built upstairs for us. We haven't too much done too much upstairs yet. And... Um, so kind of put the camera down because we don't want to show the outside of this building yet. Um, let, let us show what they built upstairs and then we're going to go out in the warehouse. We'll do one quick take. We'll try to keep this to about a 20 minute tour. How long are we? Um, eight minutes. Eight minutes? Okay. <clears throat> so it's a little bit hot up here because we're not running the air conditioner right here, but this does have a separate air conditioning unit. We'll show you all the rooms again. <laughs> so this one right here, we haven't decided what we're going to do with this one yet, so it's still just a storage room right now, we'll just put these desks in here. Um, I'm thinking about making a separate studio just for breaking, I think we want to start breaking some products. Man, I love what you've done with the place. You like it? Yeah. So I, I put them in, mm -hmm. and there was not much coordination, I just kind of uh -huh. put them that. Should I take notes? Yeah. I want and it to I, look like this. The key part didn't even set it up completely, it just kind of dropped it. Uh. Yeah. It's kind of like any wall type of thing. You know, it's really cool how it's structured, you know, like the angles. Just put a little monitor and you got a stand working station. Yeah. It's actually perfect. Microphone. And is this drawer um, purposely <coughs> opened? Is it like... It's, uh, that's just a piece of art. Oh. I would imagine a, a pet art piece would look like. You like yeah. it? Way back in the day. Or something I've seen a dream. When I, wait, wait, hold on a second, you young guy. What do you consider way back in the day? Hey, you know, back when we did art, it was the, one of the main painters. Renaissance. What years? What else? We'll put him on the spot, kids. He's quoting years and time periods. That's no idea. No, what are we talking about? Fifty years? Sixty years? No, no, no. That's not the Renaissance period. Oh, what's the Renaissance period? 
Isn't that where like the war was, the Revolutionary War? No. Yeah, the Renaissance with the French. Isn't that like the 1500s? Wait, no, 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 the Renaissance. So, no. Yeah, that's where like the queen got like harassed because she wasn't feeding the people. Yeah, remember? Okay, the Renaissance period is definitely not the Revolutionary yeah. War. Because <laughs> that's 1776. No, it's, we... it's, remember, okay, remember the French queen? I don't even it's know it. the French Revolution. This was part of a movie. I'm just, this is how I know I, about I mean, it. I, you know what? I, I, I'm getting old as an Alzheimer's, so I forget a lot of my histories. But I think Renaissance is probably between the 1500 and 1700, somewhere in between. That's them. what I said. Yeah, so it's probably like 15, 1600s. Yeah, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. When were the Napoleonic Wars? That was 13. No, Napoleon was before the American Civil War. Yeah, yeah that was 1406. Before. Yeah, so it's probably in the 1700s around. So I'm sure somebody on YouTube is going to be like, Renee, you're stupid. So <laughs> They're going to be the one calling me out. I'm the one who brought the comment up. <laughs> well, you, you quote a lot of stuff with a little bit of information. See, guys, that's what's a problem in our country today. A lot of young people with fake news. Okay? It's like, that. that's the issues. Well, the Renaissance went six years ago. <laughs> when Napoleon invaded on Tuesday. <laughs> So, so I think Renaissance was a little bit pre-Napoleon, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Civil War, then we have the Industrial Revolution. So this room we haven't really done nothing except we clean it. Somebody said in the comment section we should keep these chairs. We'll probably will. The idea what we're going to do here, so we decided this will be the studio. A lot of you guys' comments. And Casey, she was right too. So um, right here in this corner, kind of, we're going to do like a Jay Leno type of setup. There'll be a little desk for me so I can hide my from Dulce. And then there'll be a chair next next to it where Casey most likely will be with some sexy ass high heels, looking good, telling us about storage units. Oh, really? Yeah. How come you're not the sexy high heels? I will, but most He's people- He's a sexy Speedo. Most, most people probably will get upset. <laughs> so, um, but um, yeah, so we're gonna just talk about news and industry and stories. Have some friends come over. Kenny already said he'll come. Daryl said he'll come. Nice. That we'll do interviews. Like I probably can get Dave Hester to come and we'll just talk. So we're kind of going to make a little talk show and talk to people about the business, talk about news, talk about things that are going on. And then uh, we'll probably have a little bit more filming station over here. So we'll figure that out as we go. Um, we will definitely want to do a breaking room. We do some live streaming, all kinds of cool stuff. So, But that, that's still a little bit away. I just haven't had time, guys. That sounds really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun, right? Yeah. But let's show, um, let's show, maybe we'll interview Tatiana or how lucky she is to have me as a dad. You know, uh, we'll <laughs> you can see the look on her. I got lots of stuff to say. Yeah, but we can see it, all the blessings she counts. Hey, <laughs> with that attitude, anybody looking for a kid only got to feed her for about three more years so you can get rid of them. Uh, <laughs> you know, she's good at manual labor already, so perfect. Perfect at math, perfect at history. Perfect right. at math. <laughs> so I especially remember the Renaissance. I specialize in that. You special? So remember the whole math thing that we had like last time? I deleted all that. So uh, I was like, it's just too silly. I can't put it out there. <laughs> People will stop. I was right it. though. So that's People why. Will... That's why you deleted it. No, you weren't. Don't make me put up the video. People will send donations and probably give Maranatha bad review reviews. <laughs> <laughs> you were part of that, Casey. Just for the record. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't laugh too hard. So that this is uh, oh, somebody also asking sections. This is all sprinkler. Like everything is sprinkler here. This is all completely sprinkler. licensed. Uh, all our um, outdoor, we got all kinds of sprinkler system. Like that's why we bought this building. Everything is top notch and high end, mm -hmm. and it's a fairly new building for industrial in San Diego. Uh, so we started building this shelf. Actually, as this fills up. And I'm going to try to find the exact shelling, but we have a whole bunch more shelling and stuff like this. So there'll be another three section right here and then the wall and right here. So we figure in here, what do we say we can do? So show them the boxes. Right? Yeah, so what do we do? We're going to jump too high. Each shelf is double rows. high. People ask us how we do our eBay inventory. So we have it in another office like this, but not as intense. And then each box will be numbered. We're ordering brand new boxes. Uh, in this one right here, because it's a double one, so this one side will have... Yeah, so it'll be double. So right here will be the long banker boxes for bigger action figures and stuff. And over here will be another single row. Each row it does, can it handle two boxes. So you got one, two, three, four. So what's that? Uh, eight boxes, right? Yeah. And then uh, I think five or six across. Let's just say five across. Yeah, I think you said five across. So 40 boxes per rack. We're going to have 12 racks in here roughly. So 480 boxes. Um, we figured, let's say you average 10 items in box. You know, not huge items, but just 10 items. So this room should, let's be conservatively hold, if it's bigger item, 3,000 to 5,000 items, no problem. 
that are. So they built this, this is all nice. Then we have a little bit other inventory we can put on top here instead of a double box. Like these we used to sell in the store for like five bucks and ten bucks and people used to complain. Ten bucks. Actually they started at five bucks, then I put them at ten bucks. And we actually get sell these on eBay for $14.99 plus $6.99 shipping and they sell all the time. Like I think I sold everything we have listed. So we're gonna take a new inventory, we stack these loose on top here. And that'll be it. That was a great money maker. Those were came from um if you go back to our old videos to the pallet deal where we what we made hundred thousand dollars on pallet we said so. So these probably cost me like five cents each. The fulfillment center. The fulfillment center, yeah. Oh don't give them the we never give away the secrets. People think we're buying returns. Remember all these smarty pants it's like, oh that's not possible. I never said it was a fulfillment center. It was Please. Don't fire me, come on, don't fire me. Well, you blood related, so I have to kill you. But um <laughs> if we fire you that would mean we have to pay you. No, actually do fire me. I can go work somewhere else. Yes, um wanna get you an application for Taco Bell or something. <laughs> no, sign me up for Del Taco, sixteen dollars an hour. We should make her get a job just so she realizes <laughs> how lucky she's working in a self employed business. I want her a job, she goes like, Hey, you know, I'm gonna take a break. Uh hold on. Taco's coming. But I got a text message to check first. <laughs> Selena Gomez just said something on Instagram, and I need to know what it, what it was. <laughs> Gomez. I don't know. See, I don't know what it is. But anyway, so yeah, this room will have like 5,000 items. So in our last video, guys, we were talking about building the mezzanine. And the door with the mezzanine would go out here. It would be a 1,000 square foot platform. And we probably should be able to put 20,000 items on there. Right now with the pandemic, everything that's going on, so we were planning on spending like 30 to 40, if we get fancy, maybe 50,000 on the mezzanine. Right now, because all the steel prices, everything is double and triple, all the wood, everything is crazy. So if we had to build it right now, it cost us $90,000. And we're not going to do that. We figured we're going to wait till next year because we're not going to fill it up right away anyway. We got 5,000 items to list here. Yeah, I told Renee, let's just wait till we get there. Let's fill this room up first. Yeah, so we don't, we're not in a hurry, but as soon as the prices go down again, we'll build the mezzanine. If they never go down again, guess what? I guess it cost me 90 grand. All right, let's go down here. All right, and wait till you see what's coming up next. Wait till you see the warehouse. So we worked really hard for like three, four days. But Zach it's still included. It's Zach included. Yes, you know. Yeah, we all got some. So, but it's um. One thing about the lobster shit. Uh, <laughs> but so there's still stuff sitting around that we have to sort. We really need to come in for two days and kind of clean and resort and restack. We're just having that time yet. And also, it's been like a hundred and some degrees, so it's like we and we don't have to do it now. These shelves right here in that room I was, that remember we talked about we're gonna make the hangout room with the big screen TV. I'm thinking, I wasn't gonna do this at first, but I'm thinking I'm gonna put all around the wall of these shelves and you actually get some really good storage space out of it. Uh, and then we kind of still have the hangout room, but we also have some store shelf space. So I think that's kind of like the best of both worlds. So we'll have these all around and have a couple couches in front, have the big screen TV. And I think that'd be kind of cool. What do you think? Yeah, maximize the space because I know if, as you see, it's getting really full. Yeah, there's no echo. Echo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh right. somebody also said, hey, we should invest in some la laugh mics. So, guys, we have $1,000 Sennheiser mics. I think I paid like, didn't I pay like $8.99 a mic or so, right? Mm -hmm. With the top of the line, with the Zoom mixer. Once we go full-time on eBay, I mean, on YouTube, and this is what we do, when we have the video coming every day, we'll all be laughed up, don't you worry. <clears throat> These are just last-minute videos. So, all this stuff right here will get restacked. There's stuff that needs to be sorted here. I'm gonna zoom out already and whoo, oh, yeah, zoom out on the video. So, and then, you know, when you look at merchandise, so this is not um, just stuff from storages. This is already stuff that's sorted down. That's all pretty much 75 to 80% is gonna be less. And we're gonna go through a lot of this stuff. Yeah, this has all been cherry picked, but we've been hoarding it for quite a few years. So now we need to see like what's still like you know relevant today, um, sell more of these. But you see, some of the stuff is missing. So some of this stuff comes from the warehouse and from the store. Action figures, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, action figures. That's probably action figures. Uh, merchandise from the stairs. So that was in the stairs in the store. 
Did you ever and show that on video? The stairs? I think I might have showed a little bit when we were closing down because before we always kept it a secret. That but like, is insane. <laughs> pretty much everything in the stairs is stuff that comes in and we're pricing the store. I'm like, oh no, that goes on eBay, 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 eBay. Uh, merchandise from the stairs. Here, yeah, this is dungeon. Most of the dungeon stuff was also eBay stuff. Um, we actually were going to build an office out there, but then storage was happening. We just never did. So most of the stuff is listing. And then this, uh, the racks you see down here, these are more shelves. These are all um, gondola shelving that we're going to build up along the walls right here. That will be a day project. And then what are we going to do? So we still have another um, 10 by 20 with like another 12 pallets we're going to bring. We also have a 10 by 30 that's from our old warehouse that's been sitting in storage for like two years. There's Do you guys remember stuff. that when we were on storage wars? Yeah. Just so Junk from there too? Yeah, but it's mostly soda down already. I mean, there's yeah. still some junk in it probably, but mostly soda down. I always call it junk until it's sold. <laughs> so what we're going to do, these are all gondola shelvings. We're going to break these down, build them. Then have other shelving stuff right here. Get the other six pallets. Get the Aero Drive warehouse. Stack it in here. And then most likely at that point, we are done with this. And just so we don't pay rent on different storages, we also have a 10 by uh, 50 full of nothing but action figures. And once all this is done, this whole section right here, until about halfway down the aisleway, this will be sorted at the time. It will be a whole 10 by 50 full of nothing but toys action figures, mostly 90s and older. I mean, actually, it's 90s to New Balance 5, I think. Yeah. So how yeah. many... I'm sure everybody, I want you to guess how many storage units do we have right now? Because nobody here knows. 12. I don't even know if he knows. Well, it's hard to tell, but I know we have AeroDrive, we have extra space, we have the one in Poway at three. Then we have one facility. Um, oh, no, no, no. There's two places in Poway. Yeah, so, well, I'm calling the separate units I know we have. Okay. Then we have one facility, we have like 10 units out of so. But they give what? you a really good price. I mean, I'm paying like a 150 bucks for 10 by 50. Of the, for 10 by 20s that are going now for four or 500. So, and my price is locked in. I've been doing business with them for a long time. Management over there is great. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, they got me really hooked up. Um, so those we're probably gonna leave sitting for probably another year or there until we get this. But the point is to get the 10 by 50 down here. We'll do a lot of videos with nothing but 10 by, uh, with nothing but just toys and going through action figures. That'll be our first thing for the fourth quarter where we list a lot. Cause I think we probably- so Buy your toys with us. Yes, I, I think we can list like, you know, 50 to 100 lots every day, just in action figures. So wait a second, he didn't answer. How many storage units do we have? I'm thinking like right now 15, but three more will be being get, gotten within the next 30 days. Okay. So the air drive will be and a little busy. And we already busy. emptied out how many? Wow. We have so, a lot. We yeah, so when I was saying always, oh, we have about 20, 22 storage units, I don't think it was that far off. No. <laughs> <laughs> Truth be told. But you know, also everything is paid for. We have no debt. We have very healthy bank account, very healthy cash accounts, very healthy cryptocurrency accounts. And that's why I tell you guys all the time, when you work hard, you make it happen. You get there and it just stacks. Before, before you know, when you first start, you're like, you get happy when you get those one, two good items, five items, you usually sell them on the weekend. And before you know it, your money just keeps on building and you're like, you know what, these best items, I'm not gonna sell them now. I'm gonna try to get top dollar and you're still building money and getting more items and you just kind of stack it up. So, I mean, literally, me and Casey for the next 20 years, we have almost enough stuff where we can buy very little and have a steady business, never have to worry about inventory. Right now, the recession is coming, it's gonna get harder to buy. Prices are high right now because there's a lot of government checks for a lot of people, so it makes it, it, makes it harder to buy deals. But we have plenty of merchandise. No, I mean, I just offered a guy $20,000 on a Pokemon collection, which was still a good deal. I could have doubled my money. He wanted twenty five, dollars and he's like, no, that's, that's the minimum. And he, just the way he said it kind of, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep my money in my pocket. But I could have doubled my money on it. I just didn't feel like because I have all this stuff. I mean, each one of these pallets is at least $5,000 worth of stuff. And there's some of them that are fifteen and 20000 uh, and don't forget, remember that comic book hoarder house we bought where we have like 2,000 boxes we never touched and another 80,000 comics I've never seen plus 10,000 silver age and gold age that we sleeved and we need to get graded. That's not even here. It's completely somewhere else. But here, this is a way you guys can participate. This dresser right here, this came from the comic book hoarder house. It's old. It's completely full. It's like five drawers. I think that's stuff going back to like 1920s, 1930s. There's toys, collectibles. I mean, I don't even know. We had this in the store for almost two years where we were pushing it in and out every day. Uh, I was. <laughs> and Cheryl was. Yeah. And Cheryl, yeah. And it Tadiana. was Cheryl. It was Cheryl. 
And this thing was heavy. So we always said, hey, we need to go through this. We need to we look need to at it. We make a video, so stay tuned. Something future is coming. Well, I tell you what. We will video it. So we've been holding it for three years. If this warehouse tour gets 500 likes, which basically means yeah. if you watch it, thumbs it up, like it, then we're going to go through this dresser and we'll show what's in it. I think it's going to be pretty amazing. I don't know what the other boxes on here. They just put them on, but... Uh, if this gets 500 likes, we'll go through this dress. Uh, um, if you watch our channel religiously, you've seen in the past videos I talk about it. But we've been pushing it around for three years. We'll make a whole video just what's in the dresser. Uh, and we actually, this actually might make it to Storage Wars too. We don't know yet. Um, the forklift is all the way down. Thank you for everybody giving me advice on that. So I know that. So pay attention. Uh, also, somebody asked about this area back here. Oh, it has to be accessible, obviously. Um, obviously the forklift will not stay here. So once this is cleaned up the next couple of days, it moves. But, you know, he was worried about uh, there not being enough space. So there won't be nothing right here. But I'm a pretty big guy. I'm about 340 right now. And look, walk right in. We have it all red lined. And easy access to the panels. Don't electrocute yourself, please. You said break the panels. You're not going to electrocute yourself. Just in general. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Nana. <laughs> so, um, you know, we had this one professionally installed for our battery charger. Also, you can see all our pallet. This has all been professionally installed. This has all the, um, you know, for what these bolts are called, but they're all the way down in the concrete. So, um, each one of these racks, like, and then when I bought these pallet racks, I made sure, and I don't know if I talked about it in the other video, I bought better ones. Like, each one of these uprights can hold, like, 21,000 pounds. Uh, two of these orange ones, we got the thicker ones. So between two, they can each hold, they can hold a total of 6,000 pounds. D3 palace right here is probably maybe 1,000 pounds. So we could have six times as much on the, on our shelf and it'll be fine. So I bought everything. The guy told me, he's like, oh, you're buying overkill. And I'm like, well, how much is the difference? He goes like, well, from the bars that, that, that are okay, which is already better than you need, then do those bars, it's an extra $200 for the complete racking system. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna write you a check for 4,500 just for the racking. I might as well write you a check for 4,700. But like I said, I mean, I can put, basically I can put three $2,000 pallets on each one of these shelves. And that'd be 6,000 and then another 6,000 up there. And between the two bars, they will hold 40,000 pounds. You know, save the cent that goes half, half, so. But like, we way overkilled it. So this that stuff right here was loose stuff that we don't want to get crushed, so we're gonna have to clean this. Ooh, there's a box of comics. Where's this from? You guys want to look at some comics real quick? Want to look at some comics real quick? All right. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. This could be complete junk. I have no idea. Okay. So this is Comic Book Hoarder House. Doesn't look like stores. Let's do that. Witchblade. Okay, this is new. Okay, this might not be Hoarder House. Here's a collection of one. Shazam. Wonder Man. Mechanics. Wonder Man. The one. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder where this is from. This does not. I thought this would be a hoarder house box one. Let's see. Wonder Man. Spy. How oh, these look older? Let's see right here. Ooh, Jordans. Shazam. A Twilight Zone. I love this. Not much value, but I mean, these would sell my store all day long for ten bucks. Twilight Zone. Wonder what, uh, you know what, this might have been from the hoarder house, but the store, it's the store version. Oh, okay, you know, so I did these at the store, so this definitely comes from the hoarder house. Because I put these in these holders to protect them. So these probably won't end up on eBay eventually. Let me see real quick, see if anything comes, pops out. Batman and Crandall. Cyber Force. <laughs> Buck Rogers. Ah, Evil Ernie. Lumbarella. And Panther. Number one. Ah, I don't know where this comes from. This is signed Gen 13 and it's signed by... Unreal World number one, signed by my copy signed by Mike Heisler. And how many copies are signed? Only 300 signed copies, Gen 1. 
kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we have to look through to see what this is. Double impact, huh? Casey says wrap up, no more comics. Casey says comics are born. But anyway, we got the forklift. Did, we, this is a deal we stacked up over there. We actually bought this steel on Storage Wars. And that's some really amazing stuff in there. So some of it we took back, we ha still have to go through. There's a lot of brand new merchandise there. Shelving. We have room for some more pallets. And then we have to clean this mess and move these brown shelves, get them set up. I think I'm gonna do that today or tomorrow. We have ADT coming tomorrow. They're installing some panels and we need to hook up the cameras. Yeah, that's about it, right? Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, and you know, you guys asked, so it's another warehouse tour, but you guys asked to keep process, progress and tell you guys what we are doing so you kind of see it growing with us. And once we get to the point where we are, number one, you're gonna see every day in an extra 30 to 100 items listed on eBay. So make sure the link is below, like the store, pay attention. And um, there's also gonna be a daily video. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Maybe we'll pick a super fan. We have some fans. Uh -huh. We have some fans that have been on our YouTube channel since the beginning, basically. Yeah. Um, you know, name out, uh, wow, now I'm gonna say the wrong people. Striker. Striker20, I was gonna say yeah. him for sure. There's uh, that one lady. Oh, that one lady that narrows it down. Uh, so I, there's a whole bunch of people that actually subscribe to the channel. They pay that five bucks a month just to support the channel. A lady antiques treasures. Um, Mary, uh, there's like a whole bunch of people. And like, I can't remember, I'm sorry guys. I have Alzheimer ever since I had 44, I had, I had Alzheimer. But maybe we'll fly a super fan out here and do like an interview in the channel and just about their life. You know what we're gonna do? I wanna find a fan that started buying and selling and not necessarily just with us, but also there's many channels out there that they watch. And they come out, we interview them and see how buying and selling changed their life. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, I used to work a nine to five and I used to struggle. And just say you work a nine to five, you know, struggle. But there's a lot of people that have medium to low end jobs that it is a struggle. It is a, let's just be honest. And then when you go into this retail thing, it really elevates them to a whole nother level. Um, there's also nine to fives that wouldn't do what we do, <laughs> you know, if they were cut to do the salary in half because we have to work hard. Um, leave a comment. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, think? that's a really good idea. Yeah. So, but if we do that, it's at least a year away because everything has to be set. The studio has to be set, but maybe we'll do that. We'll find one of you guys out there. Leave a comment. 500 likes. We'll go through the dresser. Love you guys. Hope you have a good Sunday. We'll see you soon.